Hi everyone! So, I am back today and this is my plans for uh, my June sewing. So, um, I'm going on holiday like I said in my last video. Excuse my hair, I just shoved it up because it was getting on my nerves. Um, but I am going on holiday in the first week in July, second week in July. And um, I have realised that I don't actually have um, any holiday clothes because I haven't been on holiday since um, I had my children. So eight years, I haven't been on holiday. So I have got loads of sewing that I want to get done. So I've got a massive list and hopefully I can get through most of it. Um, but I am supposed to be being good with fabric purchases as always and I have been terrible. May I have just been, I had so many ideas and so many things that I've wanted to make that I have to admit I've been a little bit crazy. So anyway, I'm going to start um, with the things uh, that I am definitely going to sew and then I'm going to move on to some things, excuse me, that I might get sewn. I've just had a packet of love hearts and they've given me really bad indigestion. Anyway, so the first thing, and you may have seen on my Instagram if you follow me, um, but I um, had a lovely class at Sew by the Sea in Margate. And while I was there, there were a few fabrics that I had my eye on for a while. And so I purchased, firstly, this really lovely um, cactus print. It's a jersey. Well, it's not just cactus. It's got all so sorts of houseplants on it. Um, jersey. And from it, I have made a deer and doe givre dress and the fit was really really good um, it took me I don't know 45 minutes something like that and that's including hemming and putting all the bands on and everything it was a super quick make I cut a size 38 I think and I didn't make any adjustments it fitted me perfectly um, the only thing that I might change is I might take because I've got um, quite a narrow sort of back I might make a slight sway back adjustment to the pattern pieces but to be perfectly honest it's fine as it is so I might not even worry but good news is I still have some of this left so given my success with the Megan Nielsen acacia pants I am going to make some more from this and I'm after some hot pink pico elastic so if anybody knows where to get it message me please down below thank you and also, if you subscribe to my channel, you may see that I have just managed to catch up on all my comments. So if you messaged me um, ages ago, I'm really sorry for the delayed reply, but um, it just takes me a while to get to everyone. So I'm going to try and resolve that and I'm going to be better with replying to my comments. So while I was down at So By The Sea in Margate, I also managed to pick up, and I'm just trying to have a look at which is the right side. I think this is the right side. This really, really lovely chambray. And if you can see, it's got really lovely neon flecks in it. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, she also has it in a gray, sort of a, a charcoal-y gray colorway, which is really beautiful. Um, I know sometimes that Jenny's site um, is quite hard to find some of the fabrics, but if there's something you're particularly interested in, if you send her a message, um, then she can get back to you. I know she is on Instagram as at so by the sea Margate, and she does have a Facebook page. And um, yes, you can also email her through her site if there's something you're particularly interested in. Okay, so also I have just got home and I have just had the loveliest package um, and it is from the lovely Hayley of Thimble and & Notch and it's the first time I've ordered from Hayley and she's relatively new, her, her store is relatively new but she's got some really, really lovely fabrics and um, anyway, I have uh, come home to the lovely uh, parcel that I've received from her with, which has got a really nice personal note in it and um, in, the, um, in the box I also have lovely cards which tell me about my fabric how much I've bought, what the composition is, and how I should um, launder it. So that's really fab. And they're really fun as well, lovely. Um, and I have bought some really, really lovely fabrics, and they're nicer than I um, thought they were going to be. But also in my box was these really lovely um, labels. This one says one of a kind. I hope you can see that. I'm one of a kind, lovely. And this one says me made, lovely. I'm definitely going to use these. And I also have purchased 
And this is amazing, and I didn't think it was going to be this lovely. I thought it was going to be lovely, but I didn't think it was going to be this lovely. This really lovely cotton, and the, the, it's showing up really true to colour on the camera. It's awesome. The colours are lovely. It feels a really lovely quality. I think it's 100% cotton, and I'm just trying to look for the selvage to see who it's by. And it's called Tropical Animals, and it's by Poppy, apparently. Um, but yes, really lovely on the site, really good price and okay so with this in, I saw it and I didn't really have anything particular in mind but I am thinking of making the um, Closet Case Kelly shirt but also I would really like to make a summer dress out of this. It's got a really nice drape actually and a really nice feel to it. Um, I It's obviously still got dressing on it and I'm not sure what it's going to feel like once I've washed it, but the quality feels really good. So um, I would really like, I think this would make a really nice Betty dress. And if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I've made some v-neck Betty dresses with a gathered skirt. And that's one of my favourite patterns for the summer. So I could make one of those, or I do obviously love the Jennifer Lauren Laneway and that would also be awesome but if you've got any other suggestions for perfect summer dress patterns um hit me up in the comments so it's either that or like i say i am thinking of making the kelly um shirt i have got i think how much did i order a meter and a half of this a meter and a half and this is five pound fifty per half meter and that's including VAT, yep, £5.50. So, lovely quality, and I have also purchased, and it seems to be all about the chambray, but this really lovely chambray, and it's a charcoal grey, really nice quality, and this is the same £5.50 per half metre, really nice. And what I've got in mind for this is the Yari jumpsuit, the new pattern by True Bias. And I like, I would like to make the short version, um, but I would add a bit of length, I think, to it. Um, but I really like the option that has the uh, v-neck with, um, with the narrow sort of shoulders. So that's what I would like to make from this. And again, I've got a metre and a half of this, so I think that should probably be enough. So I'm really, really pleased with my purchase from Thimble and Notch. All recycled, uh, recyclable packaging, which is also a really, really great thing. Pretty quick delivery and came by Hermes. So yes, brilliant. Okay, so moving on. I also would like to make, um, and sorry, I forgot to, I should have added this in with my other So By The Sea purchases, but I obviously purchased this denim. And if you watched my last video, you'll have seen my shirt dress. I've got a chunk of this left, hopefully I have got enough, oh this is the right way, enough left, I've probably got about half a metre left um, of the full width, but I really want to make the uh, True Bias Lander shorts, so to go on holiday, because I think in this denim with the button fly they would look really awesome, and I really love the fact that they're quite a wide leg, but yes, again I'll probably add a bit of length um, to those but yes that I would also like to make and I am uh, doing a pattern test as well this month for the new uh, smiley magazine pattern so I can't really say much about that but yes I am also testing that I also would like to make a couple of kimonos for when I'm on the beach forgive me playing with my hair but it's driving me nuts today um, Yes, I'd like to make a few kimonos as cover-ups. So I'm going to use the Sew Over It kimono pattern. I haven't made it before, but I've seen some really lovely versions. Um, I have this black crepe in my stash, which was really, really cheap. I can't remember where I got it from, but I have a feeling it was eBay. And it was something like £2 a metre or something. So I've got plenty of this. It looks like, actually, I've got two metres. And so that should be plenty. I'm going to make it so it comes sort of mid-thigh mid thigh I think would be good so I've got that and I think that's relatively quick I know you're supposed to hand stitch slip stitch the band on but to be perfectly honest I am rubbish and it is a test run so I'll probably machine stitch that so I think it will probably be a super quick make and I would also like to make another kimono 
with this lovely viscose fabric, which I got from Weaver D Fabrics, uh, Weaver D dot com that's it um last year i also had it in the green colorway and i do still have it in the red colorway um it was really cheap really ridiculously cheap something like three pound fifty a meter or something and i've had this in my stash with the intention of making an eve dress but now i kind of think it's slightly too bright for an eve dress so i think it would be perfect for a kimono to wear on the beach with like a black um swimsuit or bikini so that's my plan for that. I also am thinking of um, another option that I have for the Cali shirt dress is this really, really beautiful cotton lawn. And as you can see, it's got a gold metallic um, print on it, which is really lovely. And this was very, very kindly gifted to me by the lovely Jenny of Sew by the Sea. Um, really, really beautiful fabric, really lovely. It's got a really nice drape. Let me just uh, hold it just so you can see how sort of drapey it is. So yeah, that's another option for the Kelly shirt dress. I think that would be really lovely. If I was going to make, an, and, I, and I want the shirt dress so that I can just chuck it over my bikini or my shorts or whatever. So um, I think that would be perfect for that. Um, I also, like I said, am thinking of making my own bikini because I I have had bikinis in the past. I don't know if I'm too old for bikini, probably I am, but my husband says, while well, you've got it, you know, you're not always going to look the way that you look, so make the most of it. So anyway, I have had bikinis in the past. They're not very flattering, the ones that I've had in the past. They cost an absolute fortune. And um, I, as I've said before, have a really small bust. And in a bikini, I don't feel very feminine because I do have a really small bust. So I like to have quite a lot of help in that area. So that, I think, is my main draw to making my own bikini because I can, you know, enhance it as much as I desire. Um, also, with regards to the, the bottoms of bikinis, always they always just look horrible. I've only ever had one bikini where I felt like the bottoms didn't dig in and just feel uncomfortable. So after my success of making my own underwear, I'm thinking, yeah, I can do that. So I've had a search and I've had loads and loads of lovely comments from people saying, um, uh, recommending bikini patterns. Um, but I'm going to have a go at the um, Evie La Love um, Jamie bikini. I think it's slightly different. I really like the style lines of it. So I'm going to have a go of that. And there is also another one by, um, I think it is Green Style Creations. I can't remember the name of the pattern no oh the north shore that's it north shore bikini that's got loads and loads of options and um i've also purchased that so if i get time i might see if i can make two because then that would be perfect for, i'm only going away for a week so i think that'd be fine so from my stash i have a massive amount of this two-sided scuba and scuba seems to be perfect for bikinis so on one side, it's this plummy colour, mauvey colour. It looks a lot less pinky in real life than it's showing up on the camera. Um, but on the reverse, it's just solid black. So I have loads of this. I bought it with the intention of making a jumpsuit, but I never got round to it. It was really, really cheap from the textile centre. I don't know if they still sell it on eBay, but anyway, I have a mountain of this, and obviously you don't need very much for a bikini. So, um, yes, I am gonna make my Jamie bikini from this scuba, which has got a really good stretch, but it is um, a medium weight scuba, so hopefully won't, you know, will be the right amount of structure for my bikini. And what I am gonna do is I've got some really old bras that either don't fit me or I don't wear anymore, but they have a, the perfect amount of enhancement that I require. So I'm gonna try and use, I'm gonna try and dismantle those and use the insides of those to put inside my bikini. So, yes, and I'm hoping the pants are gonna fit, but if they don't, obviously I can use the Megan Nielsen Acacia and just sort of tweak it a little bit. So that's another thing. Um, I also have some, I, and I've shown you this before, but I've got another cotton that was from On Trend Fabrics that they kindly sent to me to say thank you for mentioning them on my channel. Um, 
and it's got I don't know that's the wrong way up I think it's got toucans all over it and I, like I say I've shown you this before um, but this is also another option for the Cali shirt or a summer dress uh, I think it would actually be really nice as a shirt dress but I don't think I've got time to make a shirt dress because they are quite involved so yes uh, that's another option and I think I've got a meter and a half of that as well so yes I could get to that and um, the Yari jumpsuit like I said before I want to make that if I don't make that from the grey um, charcoal grey chambray I do have just some normal soft wash denim I've got a load of this so I think that would be really nice um, so I could always use that um, I think I forgot to say with the chambray the speckled chambray I'm actually going to make try and make a Nina Lee Carnaby from that I think I forgot to say that but that's what I'm going to try and make with that so I also have this for either the Yari jumpsuit and possibly another um, Carnaby so I have also got some and it seems like the wrong season for it but I've also got some navy Beatrix Pontaroma from Shona at Satisfaction. As you know, this is one of my favourite fabrics of all time. It's so lovely, it's got such a lovely weight, it doesn't bobble, it's perfect, really breathable and got a nice amount of drape because it's got viscose content. So what I would really like to make is, I would like to make the um, BB skirt from the Tilly and the Button stretch book. But to go with it as like a twin set, I would like to make an Astoria. So I'm hoping, I think I only got a metre and a half, but I'm hoping that I've got enough for both of those because the Astoria takes less than a metre and the BB Pinafore. And I'm thinking about making an Astoria with a short sleeve as well so that I can wear it when the weather's a bit warmer. But I think they'd go nice, sort of a twin set. And the other thing that I have is I also have... Uh, one make to make for my home and I've got some more of the Orla Kylie canvas this is in the grey colourway this time and I am going to attempt to make a blackout blind for my children's room since they were born they've always had a travel blind up in their room uh, because that was the only one that we could find that actually blocked the light out so I'm going to make a, no a new one I have some blackout fabric I've had forever with the intention of making one a long time ago um, but yes I have this which I think is lovely I got it from Dunelm in the UK and if I have some left which I should have because I've got two meters I want to make a lampshade to match okay so I have one more thing that I'm contemplating making but I've forgotten to grab the fabric so I'll be back in a sec okay so the last thing that I'm thinking of making is um the sew over it eve dress and like i said i have been thinking about making that for a really really long time um, but i haven't actually got around to it but as you know i am a firm um fan of the sew together for summer challenge and um this year it's a wrap dress as i've mentioned in my previous vlog and so yes i think the eve dress would be perfect for that it's not something i've made before but i really want to make it and i have this beautiful cotton and steel fabric which was sent to me by the lovely Kate of uh, her handle on Instagram is the cats out the bag and hi Kate she is a fellow twin mum that juggles everything um, and she very very kindly sent this to me because she said it was in her stash and she didn't think that she would get around to using it so it was such a shame so she sent it to me so I am going to do my utmost to use it and put it to good use so uh, yes it's a cotton and steel viscose and um, it's an old print so I don't know if you'll be able to get it anymore it says on the selvage that it's spring 2015 so um, I don't know if you would be able to get it again. It says it's from the Frock Collection and it was by Melody Miller. And yes, I love it. It's so lovely. And I think it's gonna make a perfect Eve dress. I may have to line it because uh, it is slightly sheer, although not too bad, but you can see my navy t-shirt through it there. So I might have to line it. 
or just wear a slip under it I could do that because I have got some white viscose as well so I could make a slip to go under it but thank you Kate I love it and it is beautiful and I'm definitely going to put it to good use so that is it I know it is a mountain and I probably won't get all of it done. I know I say that and generally I do get it done, but I don't think I will this month because I've got quite a lot of other stuff going on. I think I'm teaching at Sewers Faction twice. I've also got a couple of my own classes. So, um, and not to mention work and everything. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done. I think possibly only one of the Callies done maybe, but um, the other stuff, yeah, hopefully I'll get it done. So, thanks for watching, and like I said, I will be back um, with my Sew With Me month. I am currently editing it, but as you can appreciate, it's uh, 30, over, uh, over 30 days, so it's taken me a little while to edit it, but hopefully that will be up soon. So, thanks for watching, and have a good week. Bye!